Maybe uh, Carl Winslow from uh, Family Matters. <laughs> I guess Father Knows Best. That would have been Robert Young. He always had the answers. Uh, the guy from Happy Days. I forget his name. The Happy Days dad. Yeah, I think Fred Flintstone. Yeah, so Fred Flintstone is, uh, I think, the model for what I should not be. <laughs> always yelling, always screaming. Oh, probably the Leave it to Beaver dad who was uh, quite understanding. Can you can you feed me some ideas? Tim Allen, Carl Winslow. Tim Allen, definitely Tim Allen. Okay. Do I have to tell you why? You can. Okay. But I don't know why. No, you don't have to. Okay. I have not embarrassed my kids. No. <laughs> None. Oh gosh, uh, any dad joke will, will work. Really bad punny humor. I don't know, maybe a big kiss on the lips. Uh, trying to be cool. They, they call me a tryhard. They say I'm a wannabe, and so if I really want to embarrass them, I, I try to be cool. You know, they don't really, they're still at the age where they're not, they don't really get embarrassed. My oldest one is six, and so if I go pick him up from first grade, he still runs up and like hugs me and kisses me and stuff, so he doesn't really get embarrassed yet. Let's pass on that one. That I don't know. You know, I can't think of anything specific. I wing my jokes as they occur. Man, I don't know. No Ooh. dad jokes. Pass. I don't have one. I'm a walking dad joke, I don't know. I was absolutely thrilled and scared at the same time. My first thought was just extreme happiness. I think I yelled. I was very, very excited. I was just super stoked to be a dad. I was probably scared and excited. Very, very excited, super excited. You know, I was afraid. I think uh, I was mostly afraid because my father, my earthly father was not a good dad. Growing up, I had never seen families that had fathers in the home. So when I became a Christian, I started realizing that there is hope, there is a possibility to be a good earthly dad. But I wondered whether or not I had that. Ooh, responsibility. Having a little life, even when that life grows up. A little life in your hands in some way. You got so many things going on, you gotta figure out how much time do your kids need and uh, being sensitive, being a good listener. Oh my, being imperfect. I have to make sure I'm living in a way that I want my kids to see me living as their example. Sleepless nights and just making sure you do the right thing. Letting them make their own mistakes. A lot of times you see what's ahead and what's coming uh, but they're gonna go their own way and sometimes fail and you just need to be available to pick up the pieces. Everything. I love it. Everything. Working those long days and coming home and kids running in to give you a big hug. Oh, they bring a lot of joy. It is, uh, I'm very proud of my, my kids, like every parent, and uh, they bring joy every minute. Uh, just being a dad, seeing the smile on your kid's face, just hearing them laugh and, and know that they're having fun and enjoying themselves is, is probably the best. Uh, the best part about being a dad is watching them grow up and grow up uh, in, in their own faith and uh, making their faith their own. So it, it's the most challenging, but it's the most rewarding. They're not like separate, I don't think. Your relationship with God is how you be a good dad. Yes, uh, I cannot do it myself. Therefore, I need I need all like all the help I can get. I keep praying for God to give me wisdom. Uh, Lord, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? How do you want me to handle this? And get directions from Him. You know, you can't go wrong. I think God models um, what a good father should look like, and and definitely selflessness is one of His greatest traits um, and coming down and dying for us um, when we didn't even care about him or, or love him uh, is a huge, a huge act of selflessness and sacrifice. <laughs>